Well, most of the time when you call 911, it'll be a stranger on the line helping with your emergency. It is telecommunications week, so we're checking in to see firsthand what dispatchers days look like. Madeline Watkins joins us now live from the call center with how it went. Madeline. Yeah, Mel, so if you think back to October, that was when all eight of Lucas County's regional 911 centers actually consolidated into one central hub, and all the dispatches are located right inside this building in central Toledo. And since then, the phones have been ringing nonstop for those dispatchers. Lucas County EMS. The first chain of survival when a call comes into 911 is the call taker. From there, it goes to the dispatcher. Hi, we have help and route. Tell me exactly what happened. EMS dispatchers, like Ed Torres, are responsible for helping the patient through a medical crisis until first responders get there. They also try to help the caller remain calm. It's an emergency to them, no matter if it's just an ill person. It's still an emergency to them, and that's how I take that because they might not have been in this situation and you just guide them through it, give them pre-arrival instructions. Being a dispatcher isn't an easy job. You have to be prepared to help someone give CPR over the phone or help the caller control a bleed. Well, the day to day stuff, after a while you become callous to it unfortunately and it's well it could be it's a huge event for somebody out there. It's just another one of the regular day to day incidents here. Torres says the only information he receives from the caller is the address and what's happening. Most of the time he doesn't even know their name. Okay, how old is the patient? And once that call is over, he's on to the next emergency. And you wonder, you wonder how that, that call went. But before you know it, you're on another call and you're thinking about that call that's at hand at that time. Shern says the consolidation has been interesting to say the least. There have been some struggles, but they're learning to adapt. We continue to move forward and try to improve, which we are doing. Um, it, it, there, were, there were expectations we were going to have some bumps and we did meet those. Now, there were 21 Lucas County municipalities that joined this 911 call center late last year, and the goal of this consolidation was to cut operational costs as well as reduce the number of misdirected calls. Live in central Toledo, Madeline Watkins, WTOL 11.